suffering convulsions. Haley claims the incident carried all hallmarks of an attack by Damascus, adding that the toxin used in the alleged assault was more deadly than in previous cases attributed to the Syrian military by Washington. A few weeks ago, this council attempted to hold Assad accountable for suffocating his own people to death with toxic chemicals. Russia stood in the way of this accountability. They made an unconscionable choice. They chose to close their eyes to the barbarity. They defied the conscience of the world. Russia cannot escape responsibility for this. The abruptly called meeting followed reports on Tuesday of a suspected chemical weapons attack in Idlib, Syria, that left at least 72 civilians dead, many of whom were children, and injured more than 100 others. At the heart of the meeting was a resolution introduced by the UK, France and the US condemning the attack and calling for an investigation into the incident. The UK's and France's representatives also took direct aim at Russia, urging the country to back the proposed resolution. Russia denied the Syrian government had any involvement with their military, insisting that the chemicals were dispersed when Syrian warplanes bombed a facility where rebels were building chemical weapons. Vladimir Safrankov, Russian deputy ambassador to the United Nations, said the move was motivated by an obsession with regime change.